we have here then? Well, it seems that we have a Jehovah's Witness a matador up against an apostate bull. I wonder if the apostate bull likes pink. If it does, it could be a gay apostate bull. No. What is the symbolism here then? Well, put me a uh, pink hanky down there. Not worn that pink hanky for a while. I'll get some use out of it someday. So we've got the matador, the Jehovah's Witness matador, and he's ever so calm. He doesn't have to make a move or a rash move at any time soon, does he? He just waits there calmly for an apostate attack. Which come, once the apostate bull has uh, decided on where the enemy is, he has to focal in on that, doesn't he? Not having the greatest of sight, so he has to be given rather a large clue. In this case, a big red rag which he goes charging towards. But the Jehovah's Witness uh, Matador, ever so calmly, and right at the last minute, he steps aside. It's just a jump to the left, and he avoids what could have been a very serious accident. Now he's very, very dexterous, is this uh, Matador. Very dexterous. He's almost preening himself before each attack. The apostate bull, of course, is uh, hell-bent on bringing down the uh, matador, the Jehovah's Witness twinkle-toed uh, matador. But the matador also knows this, and it's almost as if he's got a second sight. And so, right at the last minute, at every opportunity, he just evades a sure, what would, would have been a sure, positive hit on him. But it's not to be, is it? Because he's outsmarted the apostate bull every time. And this has been going on and on for well over a hundred years. All these apostate attack, bull attacks that are coming upon the Jehovah's Witness Matador in this case, and he just brushes them off every time. So why? Why is he able to just brush off all these attacks? Could it be that he has the complete suit of armour on against these apostate attacks? So you must then ask yourself how he's able to do this time and time again. He doesn't get injured. He doesn't allow himself to get embroiled in a lack of um, awareness competition with the apostate bull. He doesn't engage the bull in any kind of wasteful conversation either, does he? He simply just stands there. And every time when there's an attack from the bull, he steps to one side in the calmest of manners. Who is the coolest amongst them two there? Certainly not the bull, with the bull's reputation. That's why we get the expression, bull in a china shop. There's hardly any subtlety with a bull, is there? It's all or nothing. But the bull's lack of vision is his disadvantage to the dexterous Jehovah's Witness Matador.